down here. Let's see what he wants to show me. Ah, this must be the place. Oh look, there's a there's a note here. Play Bendy and the Ink Machine. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll have to. And use this shirt. Well then. Welcome all to the inky hell that I call Bendy and the Ink Machine, a survival horror game that quite accidentally became very popular. But what does it have to offer? Is it any good, or sh and should you guys play it? Well, that's what I'm here for. Oh, and beware. Spoilers. Let's go! So we start out by receiving this letter from a person known as Joey Drew, telling us that we have to return to the studio because he wants to show us something. And then we start out with chapter one, where our protagonist, Henry, starts out by going into the studio and shouting that he's here. All right, Joey, I'm here. Cause that's what you do when you enter an empty place. After going around in the studio for a while, we find the ink machine and for some reason, Henry just decides to, well, he wants to start it up. Sure, let's do it. So to start up the, uh, the ink machine, we have to find several items in the studio to appease the gods. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know why. So we look for the items to appease the gods to uh, find, to start up the machine. And whoa, where did you come from? Like, holy jeez. Oh, look at this. This is a thing. Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? Um, I, I, I don't know. This? Ah, yes. The classical old boarded up potty. I guess, I guess nobody's going to use it after all. Ah, ah yes. The, the fabulous um, I'm meme. So we restore the ink pressure, start up the power, and the Way to the ink machine is blocked. Wait, I don't remember it being blocked. Holy bejesus, I'm out of here. Oh, oh yeah, the, the classic, um, not solid floor before the exit. Now I'm stuck down here. We find an axe and, uh, then whatever happens here happens. And then it's on to chapter two. I mean, I don't know, you hallucinated and then you fell down. Does that sound familiar? So now, we need to find an exit. Seems reasonable. How did this place get so big? <laughs> good, good question. I don't know the answer. Hello? Excuse me, can you help me? Hello? Where the hell did he go? I mean, I don't, I don't know, into the wall? I guess. Are you ready? Bacon soup eating contest in three, two, one, go! Two hours later. Uh, I give up. So now we're in the music department, and there are people trying to kill us. You don't know my horror stuff. Ah, uh, uh, you, you see this notice? This is something they have to have everywhere, like, not sick, not paid. Ah, yes, um, Bendy's always happy, even when he's not happy. It's like, it's like me. So we unlock Wally's closet, find Sammy's sanctuary, drain some ink, go down to the infirmary, and... What is that? Do you hold my hands? Man, what, 
What do you think? Does it look like it's rolling around? Then it is rolling around. I mean, come on, Henry. You're not that stupid. I mean, probably a little bit, but still. Sorry I had to do that. Nice hat, though. Yeah, sorry that he had to kill your man. You kind of had one of the things I needed. Nice hat, though. I, I should have probably mention that when you were still alive. Anyway, we get the valve back, get the pump control going, and get hit on the head. Wait, what was that? Was that wasn't that a part of the plan? After surviving a ritual and uh, escaping Bendy, we say hi to Boris, and it's on to chapter three. Now we find ourselves in the safe house, and uh, if we want to uh, leave, we kind of have to make bacon soup for Boris. So after making some bacon f soup for Boris, we leave and now, that's huge. Why is there always something blocking the door? I mean, because uh, it's a horror game. They don't want to make life too easy for you. Also, Jack set the guys in the game. That's cool. So after walking a little bit, we come into this room and... <laughs> Well, damn. Now we have an angel on the loose. That's no good. Anyways, we get attacked by whatever the hell this is. And we get into a lift. We get down to level 4. And, oh my god. Alice, what have you been doing? Well, I mean, probably the same thing that Joey has been doing. After that, we do a little bit of uh, some errand jobs. Run into Bendy. Even meet the projectionist to get him through this impossible task, and yeah, and that's it. We can finally leave this place. <laughs> He's gonna try to kill us. <laughs> Boris gets kidnapped, and. Now, we move into chapter 4. We start off the chapter with giving a little bit of a flashback to uh, the beginning of the game. And yeah, we're off trying to figure out what's going on. So we push some books and then this happens. Whoa. Man, I shouldn't have been drinking all of that bacon soup. So we fix a bridge, we get a, some more hallucinations, and then we come into this room. Now this was much more in-persons than I was expecting. Then we crawl in some vents, ah yes, classic horror things right there. One more jump scare and we're out of the vents. So we open up storage room and wow! There's a lot to do here. So first we play these broken mini games, try to avoid these guys, find whatever the hell this is, and then see the projectionist get killed. Don't worry Boris, I'm on my way to save you. Um, uh, guess I was a little bit too late on that. So we beat him up, Alice dies, and these two pop up, and it's on to chapter 5. So we wake up in a locked prison, go through the world's longest unskippable cutscene, and then we go through some different stuff, and then we go through some bridges, then we go on a boat and go through the most hardest game thing in this game. Seriously, I hate this part with the boat, it's just so hard, and you have to do it five times straight without dying. That's hard. No, seriously. And then we kill Sami. And then we kill a lot of searchers, pretty much committing a huge genocide on these ink persons. And then we fall in tin here. Then we do some stealth thing while avoiding Bendy. And then we find the ink demon. And then we come into the most weirdest ending, and I won't spoil any more there. So that was Bendy and the Ink Machine. What would I say? So start off with the aesthetics. It's a really cool looking game. It has a unique style to it and it, 
the creators even said what they were messing around with was trying to bring a 2D animation into 3D character models. And it works really well in this game, and it's also cool to see how it's implemented and all. The ambience is just really good, having this style of old music with, um, with the horror ambience in the background. It works really well. Now, the gameplay can be kind of uh, annoying sometimes. There are some few uh, things that um, can be annoying, like the mini games are quite annoying, and <laughs> some other stuff are not so fun, like the boat part, or part where you have to kill the butcher gang in the chapter three. Those, those parts are really annoying. But in the baseline, it's a really good game with some really good mechanics. Um, now the story can be a little bit confusing, and um, I um, I have to admit I'm <laughs> I don't really I, I I don't know I'm in the middle with the story. The chapter five kind of felt uh, let a let down I would say the fight with the ink demon all that I don't know it just wasn't what I was expecting out of the game. Um, I mean I was expecting a confrontation with the ink demon, but just not in the way they presented it. Now, I would say that chapter 4 is my absolute favorite chapter, it's just, it was so good, like, the scares were actually really good, and the atmosphere was awesome, and I just liked the concept they had in there, like, finding this big this thing here was really cool. Now, I would say that my least favorite chapter would be, um, chapter 3. I just kind of got annoyed with the um, running back and forth. Um, I did. I do know they changed it a bit uh, with the, each um, each. What, what would I say? Errand being on each floor, but uh, I still have to say that I just don't really like it that much. It's a bit too long. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Yes, I know that I didn't do the Jimmy and the Pulsing Mask video today. But I had to kind of wait on another YouTuber getting done so I could get footage for the game. So don't worry, it is coming out in next two weeks, I guess. In, in two weeks it'll come out. Don't worry, I promise. I am working on it, don't worry, I have the script and all that. So thank you guys for watching and thank you for sticking by. I would say thank you guys for watching, yeah. Whatever I just said. See ya.